Another thing that, that was interesting that, that uh, I want us to react to is this soundbite from Tim Bontemps. Oh, on... my goodness. <laughs> ESPN Zone. You know, you know we got to go in on ESPN whenever you get the chance. So this <sighs> is from, from ESPN's Tim Bontemps on the Hoop Collective podcast with uh, Brian Windhorse. And basically, um, what this trade would mean if Leon Rose doesn't get it done. Let's, let's listen in. They have been positioning themselves, as man said earlier, they have been positioning themselves to get Donovan Mitchell. Or a, so you're the saying next star put like, six picks on the table? If the Knicks don't get this trade I'll, done. I'll, I'll uh, just hold on. Hold on. Yeah. If the Knicks don't get this trade done, this is what gets this whole regime fired. They have been positioning themselves. If the Knicks, if the Knicks don't get this trade done, this is the move that gets Leon and company fired. Just stop. <laughs> Just stop. Give me, give me your thoughts, man. What, what do you get? What do you think? What do you guys think in the chat? Is this the defining move of the Rose regime? No. <laughs> Can we just stop with the overacting of like, this is it. If Leon Rose yeah. in his third year doesn't get the star that has been winged to the New York Knicks now since this season, this past season, it's all over. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, what do you want the Knicks to do? Like, I, we just talked about this is not a do or die move. We need to know. It, I would say this. It all depends on the offer that, you know, let's say he goes to Miami. If it is three picks in Tower Hero, and the Knicks don't. Yes, that that I would be pretty upset about. Like as much as you know, we, we love the young guys. We love how they, the, the 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 toughness, their ability to play, and and their development process. You got to beat that package. If you're not beating that, if it's if it's like the Knicks did offer that, and Ainge just did it to spite the Knicks, like how can you be how can you be upset with that? We need the details. It's not just oh, if the Knicks are unable to do this, I don't need to see the Knicks just give up eight picks, all the young players, as was reported that Danny Ainge wants. Like, you're going to give up Cam, Grimes, McBride, Toppin, IQ, and then say, hey, man, I want six draft picks. Like, the Knicks don't have to yeah. do that. This is not this is not do or die. But if it if the Miami Heat do come out of nowhere, right, and they're able to get, like, it's that type of package, and the Knicks just didn't want to beat that, I have I have some serious questions. Actually, some serious questions, but this is not do or die. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. If, if we get out bid on, on a small deal and get gun shy based on all the assets that we have, I think it could. But at the end of the day, you know, this is Donovan. This isn't this isn't LeBron at, at his at his prime. You, this isn't a person who's guaranteed to change the fortunes of, of this franchise. And the Knicks just, you know, we're, we're gun shy here. Uh, there still would need to be work done to turn this thing in, into something serious. Now, it would help. <laughs> it would certainly help Leon's cause. I think it would. And that's why I think it's a, it's a, it's a deal that should be made. But I don't necessarily think this is a a, a career or a job-defining trade for Leon Rose. Yes, he was brought in here to bring that star. However, you never know. Like, with the team that they have right now, as it is, Let's say this team does overachieve. Let's say they jump in to the sixth spot. You know, they just missed the play and they jump into the sixth seed. Maybe they win a game and two. Brunson goes off at the Garden. Dolan's making money on uh, <laughs> at least twice in the postseason. I, I, you know, it, uh, that would certainly be a reason to come to, to to come back. Let's see, RJ takes another leap, and they continue to gel. Grimes is doing his thing. Cam Hive is erupting. Cam's doing his thing. He's going off his head. You know, IQ Obi. Who knows? Because, I mean, the, the kids that they drafted here, as we saw in last season, are still, you know, good enough to, to compete for at least a play-in. Exactly. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's, it's all or nothing here for Leon. I think it would certainly help, but I wouldn't say it's all or nothing. You know what be you know be all or nothing for if he traded a lot of the draft capital and a lot of the young guys, and then you get Donovan Mitchell, and then the Knicks – don't do anything afterwards for the next right. couple of years. That is where you get fired. Yeah, that could still hurt. That could still kill you. you that, know what I'm that, that is that's the thing that gets you fired. Right. Because right? if you put all your chips into Spider, you're saying, hey, this is the guy who's going to take us over the hump. He's going to make us championship contenders. Him alone will do that. Obviously, that's not the case. Yeah. But 
if you made a move like that, <laughs> you will get canned. No but question. I think we what you just said, right? Talking about the young kids and like you can still be happy with how you're seeing. And that's how we should be going into this like negotiation process overall. It's like, all right, if we get Spider, awesome. We got an all-star in the house. Mm-hmm. This takes us to another level. If not, we should also be happy to see where these kids are going to go because they've shown something and they're not busts. Yeah. You know, they're not busts. So if they come into this season, we get to see the young kids play. You get to have a more, uh, you get to get more eyes on them, seeing what they can offer on an 82 game basis. That's still a win for the Knicks because if they start to play better, as you said, guess what that means? Trade value goes up. Right. P- teams around the league are going to want them. And that means you didn't have to spend everybody to go get Donovan Mitchell. Maybe you can go get somebody else with trading less, or maybe you can go get Spider again without with trading less as well. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, He's not going to be there. And if he gets traded somewhere else that where he doesn't want to go, he doesn't have to sign a contract there. He can also be there and be like, I don't want to be here. That's so right. So trade me now before I'm going to walk. You know, it's, that's the other thing. It's it's interesting to see Dolan's dynamic with these guys that he brings in, right? If we go back through history, um, his rela- Isaiah, it took a while to get Isaiah up out of here. And maybe if it, if it wasn't for the Anuka Brown-Sanders thing, he might still be here. <laughs> maybe he's got a board seat or something. Right? Mm-hmm. Steve Mills. Mills has been all, all up through this organization, still has a board seat. Uh, you know, the Phil, I think the Phil thing kind of is kind of, you know, sputtered that way because I don't, I don't think Phil was really trying to answer to him like that. You know, I, I thought Dolan went in and got Phil as a, as a sign of desperation, but I don't think, you know, Phil was a guy that d- did Phil. You know what I'm saying? Took, took his bag and got up out of there. So that's why I didn't think that relationship was built to last. But, you know, you, you go to Summer League, you see Dolan in the mix. He's with Tibbs. He's with Leon. We know that CAA has had influence with this team back with the Bargnani trade and Melo and all of that. So, I, you know, I, I'm not sure Leon is, is on a short rope like that, like how these guys exaggerated on ESPN, because I think the relationship has been there. And as long as... They're continuing to draft, haven't mortgaged the future on anything crazy just yet. I'm not so sure how soon Dolan would be, uh, you know, motivated to to move forward. As long as there's some signs of progress. Now, if we're, if we're losing again, if if we're a bad team again, that's another story. You know what I mean? That's still another story. But if you see an incremental progress from RJ from Grimes, from Obi, from Quick, from so on and so forth, and you're going to continue to give Leon some time to still go get his guy. I, I, I think I can see that working out if the spider thing doesn't go their way. Yeah, for sure. And to add on to Phil Jackson, like, Phil Jackson wasn't Dolan's guy. Like, what's, like you, you mentioned Mills, Isaiah, Rose. Those are all Dolan's guys. Right. Phil wasn't Dolan, Phil wasn't Dolan's guy. Phil wasn't he Dolan's brought him guy. in here because he had the he had the you know he had the resume of all the rings, right? He was a former Nick. You, you saw how successful he was as a coach. Maybe he could have translated that to the front office experience. It didn't work out. So for Dolan, it's like, all right, now you want to trade one of the best draft picks we've had, and God knows how long at that time. And that's what threw it threw him over. That's what got uh, Phil Jackson out of here, right. but. I think Rose has a little bit more of time. What did he sign? Like a six year con I think it was a six year contract that he signed. Yeah. Uh to be to be the president of basketball operations. Year three, I think that's still too short. Uh I think he would have at least one more year to show if it if it doesn't go, if we're not seeing progress or if we're seeing minimal progress, you know, and you're seeing it's still towards so more of a losing season than a winning season, I could see the fourth year Leon being on, you know, being on the hot seat. But as long as, like you said, we see some sort of progress, I think he's. I think he'll be here for a while until he can go get his guy. I mean, there's other guys that could still come up. I'm looking at the Phoenix Suns, man. Like I'm, I'm looking mm-hmm. at the Phoenix Suns. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I look at them. I look at Devin Booker. You don't know how long Chris Paul is going to last. What they did to DeAndre Ayton, I don't think was right from a from like a player's perspective. Yeah. Where you're like, yeah, you know, you 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 helped us get to a finals. But go, let's go see what your marker actually is. And then the Pacers are like, oh, we'll, we'll put an offer for DeAndre. Ayton. And then seconds later, they they were like, oh, that's right. his market value. Yeah. We're going to do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. You know, that that's <laughs> that, that ain't, that's not good business. Yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if I'm DeAndre Ayton, I'm like, all right, I see how it is. 
if we're not doing well, I'm either going to demand a trade or once this contract's done, I'm bouncing. Fair you know, Fair and points. for that, what does that mean for Booker? You know, so I'm looking at a guy like that too, saying, hey, if the Suns, like, if things start to go down, go south, and plus that owner, you know, he's already under investigation by the league for his own reasons. We don't have to get into it. Yeah. If That's things great. start to go south over there, I would not be surprised if guys are going to be like, you know, I can't deal with being in the spotlight this this entire time because of the owner. The team is starting to fall apart after, after uh, you know, a flash in the pan. So I'm looking out for teams like that, too. Fair point, man. Fair point. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for your boys. CP and Alex on the ones and twos. Next post game live presented by Manscaped. What do you guys think? Is this Donovan Mitchell trade proposal scenario? Is this a career defining move for Leon Rose? Leave us some comments in the chat. Leave us some comments on the video. Salute to the replay gang. Let's uh, let's get to the phones. Let's go to uh, to the discord. Let's go to the black prodigy on the discord. Go ahead and uh, I'll mute your mic. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's good, CP? What's up, Alex? Hope what? you guys are having a good day. Good, man. What's your so, name? Where are you calling in from, bro? Yeah, my name is Allende calling from Brooklyn. Shout out to the Discord. Yes, Being sir. Discord heavy. Shout out to my peeps out there. Let's go. I just what, what, you, what you got? Your I... own community in my Discord? What, what you got going on in there, man? Are you the mayor of the Discord, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. No I'm doubt. Chief. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt, man. Well, yeah, man. Do your thing. Yeah, we, we got we to gotta bring Donnie home, man. Leon has to bring Donnie home. I, I feel like this is, this is a, it's, it's a easy, it's an easy at bat. And if he strikes out on this one, I don't have confidence in him getting a Devin Booker or some of the other bigger stars that you guys are mentioning. Mm. This has huge implications as to our culture. Like, think about this, CP. We keep RJ. We have Brunson. We bring in Mitchell. These are three young pieces that we don't even know they're sealing yet. We have to take this risk. This is a risk that has to be made. I see folks in here saying, oh, we. what about the young players, man? I saw the summer league game. Yeah, summer league, but I'm not excited about these guys. Mm. Miles McBride, he's okay. Quentin Grimes, okay. He could be a solid rotational player, but this is not some players that I'm excited about. RJ, Mitchell, Brunson, let's let's see. Let we we have to see it. We have to see it through. Yo, what up, CP? It's Hector from Harlem, bro. Hector, what's good, my dude? Let's go, brother. Yo, this is quick. Yo, what up, Alex? Give that thumbs up, Knicks fan what TV. Up? Y'all already know. Let's go. Get the thumbs up. But yo, CP, yep. two years ago, you already know, bro. I was bugging out. I said it's Dame or nothing. Yeah. But you want to know it's crazy? Two years ago saw Donovan bumping that pop smoke in his crib. Mm. And this is one Panamanian speaking for another. I knew he wanted to come home, bro. So this ain't a surprise. Mm. You feel me? Bro, this is this is quick. I'm going to go quick with it. Yeah. I don't want Quentin Grimes in the deal. Yeah. Alex was right. For me, it was the same thing. For me, my minimum is five picks. You guys can sort out if it's going to be um obviously the, what is it? They, point being is that they, they can um, – Leon has to make this deal, period, because if he doesn't, it's going to solidify his run here. He was brought in to be the guy because of his connections and whatnot. It's either this or it's over, CP. He's got to make this deal. RJ can't be that dude by himself, period. He's got to make this move. 